Bloody Mary, we've all had one. We've probably all made one a time or two, but how, were they, how was it originally made and where did it come from? Well, it's credited to Ferdinand Perio from Harry's New York Bar in Paris and uh, was first published in the Savoy Cocktail Book. It's a great drink that allows the bartender to be really creative and you, know, you can really improvise a lot, but you, know, you start out with a couple ounces of vodka. I'm going to do a little bit of fresh lemon juice. I'm going to do some Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. And with these ingredients, you can really just do them to taste. You can put as much or as little as you want. Um, you can obviously add some things to make it a little more spicy, but you always want to have a little bit of Tabasco. I'll put a little extra dash in there. And then salt and pepper, I feel, is really, really important. So take some freshly ground pepper, just a, just a little bit right there, and then some salt. This is a savory cocktail. It's great for, obviously, for hangovers, great at brunch, um, but you can, you can knock these back pretty quickly. So a little bit of salt. There we go. I'm gonna add ice. And then fill with tomato juice. You know, another fun thing you can do with this drink, you can batch your own uh, Bloody Mary mix ahead of time. You know, it makes it a little bit easier. But the real key here is the technique. You don't want to shake this drink. You don't necessarily want to stir it, but the key is to get it nice and cold. And that's really hard to do considering how thick the tomato juice is. But you just want to gently roll it. And make sure you do this until the shaker is nice and cold so you know that all the ingredients are well integrated and well chilled. But if you shake it, if you're a little too rough with it, it'll get this kind of odd kind of foaminess to it and it just doesn't turn out very well. You'll know you're ready as soon as that shaker is nice and cold on your left hand. Another great thing about this cocktail is the garnish. You can really get away with a lot of things here, but I always like to have some meat in the drink, so we're going to just skewer a stick of beef jerky here, and add that in. Then we're going to do some pickles, a little olive, and then traditionally you'd also have just a wedge of lemon if you want to add a little bit more tartness to it. And there we have it. Good old fashioned Bloody Mary. Cheers.